Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about latex. Chlorinated latex. Hi everyone, so I want to do a video to talk about chlorinated latex. So when you buy most latex, it comes in standard natural rubber, um, just a dry powder finish. That's what I'm wearing now. Um, that's what you'll get normally. But what you can do um, with most places is there's an add-on option called chlorination. You may have heard of it or not. Um, essentially what this is, if you were to select this option, um, they take your natural rubber item uh, and um, introduce it to some chemicals. It's like a chemical wash. Uh, and essentially that bonds to the latex on like a molecular level. Um, didn't do well with that word there, did I? But it, it bonds to it essentially. And what that will do will, will perma permanently change the latex itself. Um, and basically it will make it smooth and silky and very slippery. Very, it'll, be, it'll be almost like there's a film over the latex. Um, so that's essentially what the chlorinated latex will, is when, when, once it's done. And that is uh, that will be permanently like that now. That you'll that permanently alter the latex. So it's not something that will wear off once you've washed it or anything like that. So why would you select this option? Why would you have chlorinated latex? What's the point? So um, cl with chlorinated latex, the biggest benefit to doing this um, is really it, it eliminates the need for for dressing aid um, or you know talcum powder, things like that, um, or any liquids. You can just put it on super fast, like uh, you know in seconds. You can be in a, a full outfit, uh, really quick to do. Um, and that's going to save you a lot of time and effort and make you probably want to wear it more often. Um, so that is the biggest benefit. It is, it's just because of the silky sl smooth nature of it, it just glides on really easy. Um, and that's, you know, fantastic because that can be one of the tricky things about latex is sometimes it can be a bit challenging to put on. Um, for me, I always find t-shirts are a pain. So, you know, but with the chlorinated latex, it's a, it's a big help, a big help for sure. Um, another benefit that, that has been shown that people with uh, allergies to uh, latex, they, they actually don't suffer really when they wear it. So they're able to actually wear latex clothing um, without it affecting them. Uh, because I guess because of the the change to the latex, or like I said, it almost like it's got that film on it, 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 it doesn't affect them. You know, they don't get allergy, their allergies for, towards it. Uh, and that's awesome. You know, the more people that can enjoy and wear latex, better so that's that's another great benefit so if, if there's something you've got uh, and if an allergy to latex then definitely try it I would say definitely try it um, another benefit is the fact that when you when you wash your latex if you wash normal latex um, it can sort of stick to itself um, and you know create watermarks and things you know I've had latex before that's actually been permanently stained to watermarks where I haven't quite dried it off properly or kept it apart um, because the inside stuck together um, and you know that's a pain but with chlorinated latex you find it because again of the slippery nature of it you won't get that necessarily um, and it will, it's just so easy to work with so what is late what does it actually feel like um, so I said before it's sort of a, a silky smooth feel into it and it really is it's like super slippery um, it's almost that feeling of latex when it shined up all the time, slightly different, but it's got that kind of feel. It's very, very slippery. Um, it, it feels slightly different to your natural rubber latex. So um, it sort of depends if you, you know, it, it's, it's difficult. I, I mean, for me, I still prefer regular latex, but it's a tough choice. You know, I, I really like chlorinated latex. And I think um, when, when I'm purchasing it, it's always, an, I'm always like, shall I get it chlorinated, shall I not? It's a tough one. So, if you if you really really prefer the natural feel of latex, as uh, so many of us do, um, it might not be for you because it it will make the latex feel different. Um, also, I should mention the, the the smell of latex of the rubber kind of dissipates as well. The smell isn't there anymore, um, so you kind of loses its smell, and it moves slightly differently as as well. It's another thing. It's sort of for me, it feels a bit stiffer. Um, 
only slightly, but it's a slight difference. But I think it's a really cool feeling material when it's when it's chlorinated, and I definitely think it's worth trying if you haven't already. Definitely try chlorinated latex. So, um, unfortunately, I don't actually have any at the moment because I ripped some chlorinated my last chlorinated latex. So it is what it is. I'm going to have to get some more. Uh, and and a note on that is the fact that if you do rip it it's harder to repair. And again, I think that's because you're changing the surface of the latex that working with the glue you would normally work with for the sheeting, it, it struggles to bond. I, I, I'm assuming that's that's the problem. Um, I have never tried to repair chlorinated latex personally, but um, it seems to be um, a lot more challenging than if you were to rip just standard latex. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. So if you want to try chlorinated latex, I would recommend, as I say, there's a lot of places that are adding it in as an option now when you're purchasing latex. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of options there, but I would say Catalyst Latex. Um, they're based here in the UK. Um, their standard stock comes as chlorinated. So, you, you know, it's not an add-on option. It's the standard, it comes chlorinated, uh, unless you state otherwise. And they've got, a, you know, a great selection of clothing on there for you know men and women uh, but what you can also do this is really cool which is something i've done with them um all you've got to do is email them if you've got a spare you know a spare garment at home that you wouldn't mind trying the chlorination process on you've got some spare trousers or skirt or you know whatever it is you have you can email them um and uh, you can send it off to them in the post and they will chlorinate it for you um it's got all the instructions on there about the uh you know what to do and stuff but it's really straightforward you send it off you send the money with it it's not expensive at all so that's that's a great way to get things chlorinated just to take an old pair of something um they will do the job for you send it back to you um they even send swedes as well so can't argue with that so um that's worth trying so i think catalyst latex is a good place to go for that sort of thing um say i've i've sent off uh, the tops and uh, shorts and trousers and all kinds um, I think it was around £20 for one batch or so. I've only done one item at a time. But it's a, it's a great service and it's a, it's a good, it's kind of a low risk way of doing it because um, you might not like it. So, you know, send something that's maybe old, that, that's a good way. But also, what you can do as well is they, um, they, they send samples, uh, you know, small, small samples so you can just get a, a feel for, well, the feel, um, see, see how you like it. Um, or see if if you if you react to it because of your allergies or, or things like that. So um, yeah, catalyst latex. But as I say, there's a lot of places that do this as an additional option now. Uh, it's very popular, and I think it's well worth having. If you're into latex, at least try a few items in chlorinated latex. You know, it, it's it makes life so much easier, um, and so it's worth having both in your in your wardrobe. I think. Definitely, so um, I will definitely buy more chlorinated latex. Um, hopefully give it a try. Definitely check out Catalyst Latex and uh, see what you think. And until next time, goodbye.